my own Almost glad to be alone Until love came in On time oh, On time Loving Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel And thank you so much for being here today If you're new to my channel, then welcome to Force of Nature That subscribe button down below if you'd like to join our family To see veganism, vlogs, yoga, holistic health Natural hair care, beauty any of that kind of thing, I'm your girl. If you guys would like to see that kind of thing, subscribe down below and hit the bell button to make sure you get notifications every time I upload a new video so that you don't get left behind. Anyways, with that being said, today I'm not doing my typical sit down videos. Today I'm going to be filming a natural DIY flaxseed gel for hair growth. I know, exciting, right? Us natural curly haired girls are screaming in our boots. This video was inspired by someone I recently actually collabed with. She was inspired by someone else to make this, so now I'm going to inspire you guys by making it. If that interests you guys, please keep watching. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to be needing this flaxseed. I have like literally a ton of this. I used to put it on my smoothies, but lately I've been subbing for chia seeds and pumpkin seeds. So I just have like a ton of flaxseed lying around. So this is like perfect actually, you guys. And then for my gel personally i'm going to be adding some hemp seed for a little extra boost okay you guys so as you see here this is basically all you will be needing you just need literally your flax seed the hemp seed is optional but i'm just going to do that that's my choice but you literally just need your flax seed and then you just need you don't really need a measuring glass it all depends on what measurements you decide to make that day but i'm just going to be going ahead and winging it with however much i want to make and then you'll need an empty jar to put your gel in and then a pot, which is pretty self-explanatory. I did forget to mention this. Um, you can pretty much use whatever you have. Uh, I used to have an old cheesecloth, but it's gone now. And this is the closest thing I have to a cheesecloth. It's literally the same fabric, so I'm just going to use it. Um, it's a scarf I have. Um, I saw on other channels that you can actually also use like some old tights or pantyhose if you have those as well because they're really good for straining. So if that's what you want to use, go ahead. But I'm just going to be using this scarf today. So next up, we are just getting our water. I'm sort of winging this like I said, you guys. I don't know how much I'm going to be making, so hopefully this is enough. So I have about one and a half cups. So from here, I'm just adding the water into the pot. You can add as much as you want. Like I said, I'm not really going with measurements here. I'm sort of just winging it off of how much I want to make for my gel. Of course, from here, we are putting our oven to low. Make sure you do not put it any higher than two. So I personally am hoping to get a lot of gel out of this. Um, I'm pretty sure it goes rancid in a few days, so I don't want to make like too much, but I want like a good amount. So I'm just sort of going to add... I don't know, I guess whatever it is I think I need. All right, so now that we've added the flax, it is time to add our hemp seed along with that. So as you can tell, it's pretty frothy on top and you can actually see all of like the little crevices of the gel bubbles. So because I decided to use a very slender bottle, I actually made my own like, I forgot what these are called, not a strainer, but like, yeah, you get the gist. So I'm going to take my gel and somehow try to hope that it goes in there. I made this out of wax paper for those of you who don't have one of those like little things where you can dump the stuff in and it goes right into the bottle or whatever. Don't know why I can't think of the name, but I literally can't think of it right now. But anyways, so this is the gel so far. I think I have some more that I can squeeze out of the flaxseed, so I think I'm going to go in and get more. But for now, I'm going to fill this in here really quick and see how this goes. So I feel like an actual genius right now because this really worked. Like, I did not expect that to work. But anyways, 
so yeah um future tip if you guys ever don't have like those little cone things to dump things into like a more slender container just use some wax paper so here's a quick tip if you do think that you can get some more out of the flex that you've already done i would just simply add some more hot water and let it sit for like maybe one minute and it literally instantly activates more gel so. you guys i'm literally so excited about the results like look at this it's so pretty i know it looks kind of like weird but it's still like so pretty and i love how it looks in the bottle but i got like a ton of it all right everyone so the moment of truth that we've all been waiting for does this stuff work really good for hair it has a really funny color but obviously it came from flax seeds which are brown so this is so much gel like if I went to the store, like bought a thing of gel, like with this much gel in it, it'd probably be like six bucks. I just did this for free from something that's sitting around in my home. So this has so many pluses, you guys. But anyways, so I'm going to try this out. Um, I'm not getting my hair like completely wet. Um, I think I'm just going to tie it up. And then what I'm going to do is use a spray bottle. You can use any random spray bottle. They sell them at the dollar store for like a buck. This was a cleaner. I like to use all natural cleaners in my home, but this was just like a leftover bottle from that. So I figured I might as well keep it instead of just like wasting the bottle because it's perfectly usable. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my hair tie and I'm gonna try, I don't know if I wanna do like my whole head or not. I think I'm just gonna do like a section for you guys. Okay, so from here, I'm just gonna put my hair in this tiny little bun on the top. I look crazy, I know. So with that being said, you're just gonna take a section and I'm gonna just first wet my hair because I don't have like any water in my hair right now. I don't want it to be like soaked, but I want it to be like damp enough to actually, you know, get some results out of. So now that I've added a little bit of our water, I'm going to try the gel. This is exciting because if this stuff works, like this could save me so much money, guys. Okay, so this is the bottle mine is in. It doesn't matter what bottle you use. This is just like a random glass bottle that I saved from some stuff that I used before. Okay, so let's see how this stuff works. Wow, I like the way this is applying. It's literally like so smooth um it definitely makes your curls stick together like it's a super strong gel so i do recommend making sure you keep your curls separated when applying look how it's making my hair look you guys so my hair usually takes like a really long process to do all of it it would take me forever to do like my entire head but this is dried already and this is the result like i'm actually super impressed you guys look at this you guys it looks great and it holds your hair amazing. I know I look crazy, but like still, I wanted to let that little bit dry, but you guys, this gel is so nice. Like, I'm so excited I discovered this because this is gonna save me a ton of money. So I usually don't end my videos looking like this. Obviously it's a hair video. I'm just gonna say a goodbye. And like I always say, do a good deed, spread that lunar love and peace and love, man. Thank you.